welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Robin. Um, and today I have just done um, a summer glowy, um, like a gold eye, bright, bold, orange lip, a nice summery, glowy skin makeup look. Um, so if you'd like to see the products I use um, and how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Right, as you can see, um, I have already drawn on my brows and carved them out. So I will zoom you in and then I will do the eyeshadow. So taking a big fluffy brush for my crease shade, I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette by ABH and take the Golden Ochre shade and just put that in the crease. Just a light colour for the transition shade. Now taking a bit of a smaller brush just to define the crease a bit more, I'm taking the burnt orange shade and just putting that right in the crease. Now taking the first fluffy brush and with no um, extra product I'm just going to blend those two together. Now with the same fluffy brush, I'm going to take Rilgar, just a deeper orangey shade, just to make it look a bit more orangey, to blend both of the shades together as well that I've originally put on. Now I am going to do um, a cut crease but I'm not going to cut it with concealer or anything because I want it to be a bit more natural and blended. So, um, so I'm going to take my Revolution palette, the chocolate rose gold one, um, and I'm going to get a small flat brush, spray it with some Fix Plus, and take the shade, I think it's check because like, all the shades are written on here so I'm not quite sure, but it's... Um, this goldy one here. It's a really nice foiled shadow. And like the palette's like ten pounds. It's such a bargain. Right. I'm just going to go over that a bit more with my finger to make it more pigmented because sometimes I feel like they show up better when you use your finger. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, I think I'm just going to go in with this lighter goldy shade here and um, just put it like in the middle just to brighten it up a little bit with my finger. Those two colours mixed together are so pretty. There you go. And I'm just going to go back in with a big fluffy brush um, with no extra product on and then just blend it all together. want it a little bit more orangey so I'm just going to take um, my MUA like colourful palette and just, if I can open it, oh my gosh, it's my nails um, and then take that bright orange there with the same fluffy brush and then just put that around my crease just to make it a bit more brighter orange. Very pretty. Now because I've just blended away the glitter a bit, I'm just going to go in one more time with a bit of the glitter. There we 
we go. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Bad Girl Bang so it dries when I do the rest of my face and then I'll put eyelashes on later. I can never apply mascara without opening my mouth. <laughs> I'm like this. I'm gonna try to close it. Right, moving on to face. So um, I've obviously already moisturized and primed my face so now I'm just going to take my MAC strobe cream in the shade pink light my skin isn't that great at the moment I think I'm not sure if you can see on camera because it's all like under skin spots because I just got back from Kenya it was literally so dirty um like I'd wipe my face at the end of the day obviously I wasn't wearing makeup the amount of dirt that would come up off of the pad was ridiculous so yeah and just keep trying to exfoliate my face and clean it up so now taking my Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation in the shade Tan Deep. I'm just going to apply this over my face. I'm not going to put too much on because it's summer and I want to do like a natural glowy summery look and you don't want to look like caked in makeup in the summer do you? So I'm just going to put a little bit on. This one's really good because it's like water based. And it's got like a little like pump thing but look how cack handed I am. Oh, I'm so cack handed. I caught that. That was lucky. Right, move that around. I like to be very tanned. Right, then taking just my wet sponge and blending that in. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I've got a mirror behind and obviously I'm looking at that. So maybe I just look a bit off side, I don't know. Look how nicely that just blends in and it just looks so natural. The only time I really wear heavy makeup is on like a night out when I go clubbing. Especially like in the winter I definitely wear a lot more because I mainly wear it to make myself tan. So in the summer when I'm already tanned, I definitely don't wear half as much. But then when it's not all caked on, that's when it looks nice and glowy. that double chin to blend it down <laughs> there we go now I am taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral and again I don't want to put too much of this on because I just want a natural glowy skin and also it's quite light and like I've been saying as I'm more tanned I, I hate it when it's like white under your eyes and the rest of your skin is like brown because then it makes it look orange I like it all to just be blended and nice I'm just going to take my sponge again I've just noticed it's really really raining I'm just about to go to work I start in an hour and then I work at an ice cream parlour it's like fluffy rain so Hopefully that will end. Right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take the Revolution um, Conceal and Design, Conceal and Define Concealer um, in the shade C14 so I can do a bit of contour. Oh my gosh, a little bit of this goes such a long way, like you'll see. I literally put a dot on. Then I'm going to spray my stippling brush with a bit of Fix Plus and blend that in. Look, see? That was a dot. It's gone from that to that. And I'm just going to use what's already left on the brush just to run down my nose. So it's like a really, really natural 
this contour actually makes a difference. Now I'm going to set my face. I'm going to take my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to take the banana shade just set under my eyes. And just down my nose. Then for the rest of my face, avoiding like the cream contour that I just did, I'm just going to take my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark. And just put that on the rest of my face. Get that double chin going again. And to set the cream contour I just did, Again, like I don't want to put too many layers on. I'm going to take my Primark Gold Rush Highlighter Palette um, and then just get this. Oh, God. I've just got these nails. Can you see them? They're for holiday. They are so cool. They've got a flamingo, a palm tree, some leaves, like loads of different things. But I've had them off because I was away and I've just got them back on. Like, I feel like they're getting in the way again now and they're not even that long. Look, there you go. So I'm going to take that really nice bronzy shade, this one here. Just bronze up my cheekbones. Oh, it stopped raining. There you go, didn't last long. Then just to add a bit more of a glow, because obviously I'm doing like a summer glowy makeup, I'm gonna take my MAC Golden Deposit, which literally I wear this every day. So I'm just gonna take a big fluffy bronzer brush. Just bronze up my cheeks with that. Like, oh, it's just gorgeous. Like, look at it. Just put it absolutely everywhere on my face. And for highlight, I'm going to take the Carly Bible Deluxe um, Edition palette. I'm going to take this shade here on my Zoeva fan brush. Like, this is so pigmented, it is so good. Look. Woohoo! Take a bit on my nose. And just put a bit on my hands. On my hands? On my fingers? Or down the middle of my nose? Right, so that is the skin complete. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes and do my under eye. So back to my um, Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to take this skinnier fluffy brush. This is the Weaver 227 Luxe Soft Definer. Go back to the Golden Ochre. Basically like the same shades I used in my crease, I'm just going to use underneath. And then I'm going to make it a bit more orangey. So I'm going to take my really small little brush, which is the 230 Lux pencil, and take Real Gar, and just follow my lash line. And then just blend it again all out. I'm then going to apply some lashes, so I'll be back in a second when they're on. Whilst my eyelashes are just drying, I've forgotten to put on blush, and this was like the main thing that I wanted to put on, because it's really, really nice, um, orangey, shimmery blush. It is Telling Glow, um, and obviously because I'm wearing an orange lip, I want to do, I wanted to wear an orange blush, so I'll put that on now. Literally just a little bit because it's quite orange. That's better. So I'm going to finish off the look by just highlighting underneath my eyebrows and my um, inner corner. So with the same highlighter that I used on my face, which was the Kylie Bible one.
Right, now for lipstick, I'm going to use the Kiko lipstick in the shade Velvet Passion, which is a really, really nice matte bright orange. Smells so good. Right, so now I'm gonna spray my face with the Gerald Cometics Slay All Day Face Setting Spray. So thank you so much for watching. This is the finished makeup look. Just a really nice, subtle, um, sparkly gold eye with a bright orange bold lips, glowy summer skin. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and also like this video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then comment below and I'll do more makeup videos. Or if you have any other ideas, just let me know. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.